Thanks for joining us. I'm Lance Corporal Paul Williams. In Kwajalein Atoll, a project in the local community is earning an A plus from kids getting a fresh start thanks to a special group of service members. Zoe Stagg takes us to the island for more. A short ferry ride from U.S. Army Garrison Kwajalein Atoll lies the island of Ibai. The infrastructure serves a lot of people in a place where you can't always get supplies for repairs. Enter a detachment of Seabees from Gulfport, Mississippi. It's going to be a whole new world for the students. It's going to be something totally brand new. It's definitely better than what it was. Just giving back to somebody that, that doesn't have as much as we have. Um, leaving here with a sense of completion and leaving something better behind than when we got here. The Seabees also used the time on the project to mentor a group of local apprentices, teaching them painting, wiring, and simple repairs. Deployments, no matter how often they occur, never get any easier, especially if one is leaving family or a newborn child behind. Corporal Justin Glanenhall highlights a Marine from Iwakuni to see the true challenges of being deployed. First steps, the first words, the you know, first Christmas, first Halloween, the first birthday, first, I mean, everything. I'm doing it through a cell phone. My wife hits the video button on Facebook to video chat, and then as soon as I press the accept video chat, I just see my kid's face is right up to it. But when it's me, she just sits there and goes, dad, 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 dad. The command does a really good job of taking care of its own when it comes to things like that. Uh, we've had, you know, a few Marines themselves who get sent back home just to be there for their own kid's birth. That does it for this news break. You can check out AFN Pacific on YouTube and divotshub.net and follow us at facebook.com slash AFN Pacific now. Thanks for watching.